Hi gang, it's me again. I'm gonna be doing another Dutch oven treat and it comes from, that's right, Scotland. A lot of people think that Scottish cuisine is bland and unflavorful, stuff you just shove in the pie crust. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is not the case. Scottish cuisine is actually very delicious and today we're gonna to do a recipe that I've adapted for Dutch oven from the OutlanderKitchen.com website. I've also seen it a few other places as well. This is a cauliflower bake with whiskey cheese sauce. Hope you enjoy it. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you guys, please don't forget to mash that subscribe button, give me a big old thumbs up, maybe even leave me a comment or two, I sure would appreciate it. Today's recipe, I'm using my 10 inch Dutch oven. You're also going to need some oatmeal, some half and half, some olive oil, scotch whiskey, a red bell pepper, pre-sliced package of mushrooms and pre-shredded cheese, salt and pepper, fresh nutmeg, minced garlic, and about a quarter stick of butter. Start by cleaning and cutting up your cauliflower and set it off to the side. To the pan, go ahead and add your stick of butter, olive oil, your minced garlic, your sliced mushrooms, and diced red pepper. Saute it really well. About the time it starts to look like this, pull it back a little bit and make sure that all the water is gone. There's a lot of water in mushrooms. About this time you're going to want to add your whiskey. That's about three quarters of a cup. We're going to use it to kind of deglaze the pan, so make sure you scrape the bottom and get all that flavor mixed in. Right about the time the whiskey has kind of vapored away, you're going to add three tablespoons of ground up oatmeal. Stir it around real well and make sure that all the vegetables get coated in that oatmeal. Now we're going to add a cup and a half of half and half. Continue at the same temperature you were sautéing. Make sure you stir it really well. You don't want the milk to scorch. About this time you need to start adding your cheese. About two cups. You should notice that your sauce is getting really thick at this point. Make sure you stir it a lot. When the sauce starts to look like this, you want to add some ground nutmeg. You can use pre-ground nutmeg if you like. I prefer to get the nut and grind it myself. I think it tastes just a little bit better. Give your mixture a taste and add salt and pepper to taste. Now I have blanched the cauliflower for about five minutes at this point. You want to fold in your sauce. Stir it in really well, but do it gently. You don't want to turn your cauliflower into mush. You probably ought to start thinking about getting your charcoal started at this point. Say that reminds me, if y'all are looking for a way to support this channel, keep this here trainer rolling full of farm fresh content twice a week, why don't you slide over to my Teespring shop, get yourself a coffee mug or maybe even a t-shirt. But if you don't want to do that, how about you go to buymeacoffee.com and for the price of a cup of coffee, you help keep this trainer rolling. You can also visit boondockerswelcome.com. All of the links are in the description. Thanks a bunch. 
I am following the formula to achieve 350 in a 10 inch Dutch oven. That's going to be seven coals on the bottom. And about 14 or 15 on top. This is what it looks like after about 45 minutes. Put the rest of your shredded cheese on top. Cover it real well. And then to that I'm adding uh, about three quarters of a cup of grated walnuts. And I'm going to let it go for about another 15 minutes. And there's your finished product. Doesn't it look delicious? Well, gang, once again, there it is right in front of you. Absolute tasty recipe. Although in the future, I think I would do three things. First of all, I don't think I would parboil the uh, cauliflower. Instead, I'd put it in the pot raw with the sauce on top of it and let the Dutch oven do its thing. Second of all, that's an awful lot of half and half. I think I would use milk. It's a pretty creamy sauce. I don't think half and half is absolutely necessary. And third, after you deglaze the pan with a little bit of whiskey, pour a little bit of whiskey in the sauce once it's made. That way you get a little more of that whiskey flavor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think of my video. Be sure to comment below. Please subscribe. And in the meantime, you guys get to cooking. See you next time. Bye.